Wasn't gonna give you this schedule until New Year's, but take a look at the early Christmas present. The well-talked-about Ultimate South Showcase is going to be crazy. Whitehaven and Christian Brothers, Little Rock Hall coming in, Hamilton Heights is top 10 in the country, Briarcrest, Lausanne, Holly Springs, New Albany, South Haven, you just be there. Hey guys, welcome into Ultimate Preps. Cottrell Macklin here out at Tipton Rosemark for the big time matchup that everyone has been talking about. Even you, I know. Top 10 team in the country, Whitehaven, number one in the state of Tennessee. Coming to the house of the Rebels tonight, and they got their fan section in the building. But what can the Rebels do? We'll see here on the offensive end. The game, everybody's been talking about it. The Hoop Extravaganza, the number 10 team in the country, Whitehaven, number one in the state of Tennessee, is in the building. Jesse Payne nods at the camera, lets you know, yeah, we're far away from home, but we still came to ball out. Courtney Smith in the building reporting for Pep Hoops, always around and getting the good scoop on everybody. McLean has been MVP status as of late in all the tournaments he showed up in, and then the big right here waving in front of the camera, letting you know it ain't nothing to see here. We came to wipe your nose. Here comes the big-time player for Tipton Rosemark, though. Alex Anderson, the South Alabama commit is in the building. He came the ball out for his squad and his school in the student section is in the building, as I mentioned earlier. Let's jump into the first quarter, though. No need to wait. Kick it over to start it off. Alex Anderson, the tough way. Split two defenders, pull up on the defense. Oh, my goodness. I got to take another look at it in slow-mo. I mean, Alex grabs the ball, splits the best two defenders in the city, pulls up on another guy who's got hops, and drops it right in his face and lets him know, you better know where you are. Yeah, you in the Memphis area, but this is my town. Kick it over to the corner, knock down three for McLean. Oh boy, oh boy. I told you one thing, he's always ready to ball. He started off for the Haven. Jesse Payne trying to take it baseline. It's an offensive foul. Tipton Rosemark getting back to back buckets to go, and they're both by Anderson. Oh my goodness, he's got that pimp in his step. The one you don't want to see if you got him on the other side. A look down low from the PG. Nice finish off the glass from the guard it's going to be a timeout for the haven top 10 team is in trouble right here in the first quarter look at alex locking up on defense goes out of bounds oh yeah if you're a college coach if you're a fan this is what you want to see you want to see a team come out ready to play here in the first quarter against one of the top teams in the country McLean knocks one down in the corner and then Raji goes up. He misses. Rebound by Alvin Miles. He clears the lane, puts it right back over the iron for the Tigers. It's going to be a timeout for Tipton Rose. Mark Anderson locking in on his team, trying to get them back locked in by giving up that easy bucket down low. His son, Anderson. Getting that bucket to go inside the paint after missing gets his own rebound. Look down low once again. The give and go for the PG. Nice jumper inside the paint. A little fadeaway on that one too. Go baseline. Kick it off once again. McLean is hot as fish trees. Who's going to get a hand out there for Galvin McLean? I mean, this kid here can shoot it with the best of them. I wanted to show you that because Anderson's got one of the longest Euro steps I've seen in high school basketball right now. But uh, I think the young fella took that from him. He used it the next play down and got an easy bucket. Anderson's going to go up after passing a few defenders. It's going to end off the first quarter here, 14-13. It's a one-point lead for the Haven going into this one. Tigers get the rebound, puts it right back off the iron. An easy bucket off the glass for the young freshman in the building doing big things. Alex goes baseline, goes up on two defenders and one foul. Says, let's go. Even the student section holding up the muscle that they got in the baby boy weight room down in the gym. Kick over to the corner. Knock down three. Jump into the game and get your threes going. Student section pumping up their squad. A kick over to the corner. Antoine knocking one down from the corner. Another three. The Tigers are getting all types of threes in the same area right now. And then the Haven talking a little trash to Anderson, trying to change the mood. And they do get in his head. And then the offensive end, they get started. Missed jumper. Easy put back down low. 
Next play, McLean kicks it over to Miles. Miles step back, jumper in your face. Oh boy, oh boy. What's better defense than that? I mean, he had a hand up, he stayed with him and everything, and he still was able to knock it down. Go straight down the court, kick it off to Antoine. He got the easy bucket to go inside the paint. And then McLean, the giving go back to the guard. He puts it right over the iron, almost slamming it. Miles gets the gets blocked on that one off the fast break. Anderson comes up, goes coast to coast, finished with the body and with the left. I mean, he's got a brother that's big time as well in the NBA. But look at the general. He's back in the building. He used to play at Tupin Rosemark. He's still calling shots from the sideline. Miles going to get an easy bucket inside the paint. Use the screen. Look down low. He can't get it. Kick it off to McLean. Off the glass. Nice kiss. Easy touch for McLean. The Tigers getting to go. And then it's a call on the other end that Anderson didn't like. So he let the referee know what time it is. A look down low to a no look that's going to end the half. 36 to 24. That's the way you ball. Even Daryl Partee is out there like, oh yeah, boy, this is what we do. Tipton Rosemark want to want look for a better side. One week away, December 20th and 28th, the Larry Ransom 30th Annual Holiday Classic at Fayette Wear. You might want to be there celebrating 30 years here at Fayette Wear. Get there for Christmas. Let's jump into the second half, third quarter of this matchup. It's been highly talked about and very well so. 12-point lead right now for the Haven. But I tell you one thing, I'm not sure what the Rebels talked about in the locker room, but they came out busting on all cylinders, knocked down the three to start it off. And then there's a miss outside, getting his own board, going up tough, though, down low. I mean, he's playing big boy ball. Here's the guard, though, going around one defender, taking the second, going off the glass, gets called for an offensive foul, and it goes the other way. But they get the ball back. They look down low. Anderson squares up, kicks it off to the guard. He goes right over the iron for another bucket. And then the fast break. Payne goes past the defense. No foul call. Kick over to the corner to Antoine. Antoine's going to knock that thing down, and he's going to stand there and hold the jumper, too, to let you know what he can do. Anderson spins, goes up off the glass. No whistle blown, but he gets the bucket to go. McLean saves the ball, gives it up, goes flying, and it goes out of bounds. And you know, when you got old school coach Fred Horton, He's not going for none of that stuff, man. He pulls him right out after that. Anderson goes straight to the coop, bodies up for a nice bucket inside the paint, and then still in that thing. McLean's going to go flying. Oh, my goodness, he could have slammed that one. The young guy gets up, but he missed the dunk, too, so you already know what time it is. He's coming out, too. 41 to 35, jumping to the fourth quarter, kick over to the top of the key, missed, rebound down low, taking that one dribble. It's blocked by Anderson. No, sir, Reed. None of that mess is coming inside my paint. Let's clear it up. And then he goes on the other end and then takes it right to the cup. He swings his arm like, yeah, this is me. And then his brother, C.J. Anderson, I told you, he's all over the world right now, playing in the league, the G League, overseas. I mean, big-time baller right now in professional basketball. Look down low, rebound. He hook shots, and that was really the change of everything. As soon as he turned around, using the hook shot on a defender that really wasn't there, he airballed that one, and then it started to get rough for Tipton Rosemark. They got a bucket to go there, and then to end the quarter, it was a timeout here, but you can see Coach Anderson talking mean trash to the referees right now, but that was the turning point in this game. Anderson there gets a nice block on the defensive end. He gets back to save it, but then that's not changing the mentality for Whitehaven at all. Raji's going to pull up for a mid-range jumper on the other end. It's going to be a monster-style block for the big, and then Raji. Is going to kick it over to Payne. Payne looks down low to the big. He gets one to go off the glass. Another bucket again for Whitehaven. Kick over to the young guy that just checked in, though. He's going to get the crowd jumping with a three in the corner. They're trying to stay with it. Anderson goes past two defenders, crossing over. Euro step, floated up, and then called for a travel. So it's going back the other way, but they don't convert. So it goes back to Tipton Rosemark, and then they get a steal once again. The bill goes up right over the iron. He grabs his leg a little bit, but he gets that bucket to go. A pull up three from outside, top of the key for the Rebels. Nice basket for them, and then a turnaround. <laughs> Crossover for Anderson. Coast to coast finish off the iron. I mean, he went through every player twice in that play, grabbing the ball off the rim. 
Then it was a tech on one side. Miles is going to get the free throw. He got the first one to go, and Anderson came out of his jacket on that one. So you know how hot he got. And then coming out of that timeout, Miles should have never got those free throws because that is what got him locked in. He even got the steal on the other end, kicking it off to McClain, and he got taken out earlier for trying to dunk. So what did he do that time? Just lay that thing up. And then here's Miles once again. You told him to keep a hand up. And what did he do? Well, he kept it down and he had to pay for it. McClain's going to get a steal on the defensive end and the Tigers are starting to click on all cylinders, 63 to 45. And just like that, when the Tigers got locked in, Whitehaven started to score so easy, my grandma couldn't have slowed them down in this matchup. Trying to float it up on the other end, it's going to be a block once again for the young guy. They go up, look in the slam, puts it right over the iron. It's a two-pointer, puts his hands in there and say thank you. On the other side, it's another flying block. I mean, they are locked in here into the fourth quarter, and that's going to end it all off. I mean, going flying on the defensive end, talking trash on the offensive end, knocking down threes in the corner, missing, and still getting their own board, putting it right back over the iron. I mean, let's just cap it off. They ran into the building. They owned everything. 71 to 47. They told you, putting their hands in the camera said there's nothing to see here. It's just another game. We came to ball. So what are you going to do? Just watch. Thank you.